You're not inadequate. You are perfectly capable. I mean, what is it about a parent that when their child turns five, all of a sudden the parent's no longer a viable option? Like, oh, you're done. Now it's the school's turn. I think the quality of education has steadily deteriorated in America. There is an agenda to steal our children. You feel inadequate because you've been taught by our school system that you're inadequate. We had no frame of reference for homeschooling other than it just seemed like torture. Like why would a sane woman choose to be locked up with her kids for 18 years in a row when a school bus would come and take them away and give you like a nine hour break every day? <laughs> No one knows your child better than you do, and no one loves your child more than you do. And homeschooling changes the game on everything. Homeschooling allows us to say to the child, what sort of life do you want? What sort of God-given dreams, talents, and abilities is he speaking into you? you know, when we think about classroom education and we ask what makes for good education, almost every professional educator will say low student-teacher ratio, teachers who care, good methods, good curriculum. Well, in homeschooling, you get the best of all of those things. What we discovered is that it's very efficient to homeschool. You have the person who knows the student the best. You have the ability to customize the curriculum around the student. You have a great student-teacher ratio. And I realized I am accomplishing with Sierra in 25 minutes to an hour every day what is taking the school system eight hours a day, five days a week to accomplish with my older daughter. I loved watching the, the light bulb come on and watching her want to sit down and read with me. And I loved spending time with her. There are just so many benefits, including being able to have a relationship with your own children. Continue doing what you're doing. Don't give up, because I do believe that homeschool moms are America's greatest heroes.